So a surgical guide is um, something we use to help guide and direct us to put the implant in the correct position. There are different forms of surgical guides. Some require a, um, a surgical guide to place in the mouth. Um, we use something that's a lot more um, new and there's probably about 11 in the country. We use something called Navident. Navident allows you to, to guide the implants in the right place without the physical guide because you can, you can see the implant being placed in the patient's bone using real-time videography on the computer screen. And the best way to explain that is it's very similar to keyhole surgery. And what that means is the implant will be placed in the right place, which is very important for the longevity of the implant health. It means the surgery is minimally invasive, which is far nicer for the patient, and the healing is quicker. And thirdly, the recovery for the patient is a lot quicker as well. So Navident is something we've been using for a few years now, and we find it a great asset to our dental implant clinic. So the purpose is you, we often will plan where the implant's going prior to the surgery. So we plan all this digitally using a 3D X-ray. We then use that planning um, to make a guide or plan the virtual guide. So during surgery, we can use the guide to place the implant exactly where it's been planned. This means that we don't have to do major surgery to expose the bone fully. And it means that we get the implant in the best place for the long-term health of the implant. So physical surgical guides are often made on, uh, you can, we used to design them on the computer uh, and then get them printed in a lab or in-house. However, for the last few years, we've not been using physical guides. We use Navident, which is a um, real-time videography virtual guide. Um, as mentioned, this has far many benefits over the commonly used physical guides. Um, it gives you a lot more flexibility as well, and it's far more comfortable for the patient. Um, not, not really. I mean, yeah, the important thing about the implant planning and surgical guide is all in the planning. If you plan it properly, and you know what you're doing before you start the surgery, then risks are far lower and the outcome is far more predictable, which, which is what we all want. Okay. Um, the only risk is if you're fully reliant on a guide without good previous experience of doing surgery without a guide. And um, so, you know, we use a guide to direct us, but we still need knowledge and experience to know that's where we're going is correct. So when we, um, you, when we plan the implant, where it's going to go, we actually plan the teeth position first. We then, from the tooth position, work out where the implant's going to go. And we use the guide to make sure we put the implant in that position. So when the, when the implant heals, we put the implant in the ideal position to support whatever is going to go on top. Now, the three things you can connect to the implant would be either a single tooth, a single tooth crown, that is, um, or we can fix, fix a bridge, which would be multiple teeth fixed to multiple implants, or we can fix a removable denture to the implants. And there are pros and cons of each type. But the important thing, especially when you're placing multiple implants, is that you get the implants nice and parallel. So when it comes to restoring them with teeth, Things can be done accurately and done in a way that you're left with a prosthesis that not only looks good, but is easy to clean as well. 